Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be making the part 2 of our image generation and it's already got 700 views in like 3 days which is amazing and so I'm not even slowing down so here is the second part. Now, in this part, if you're in my Discord server, which if you're not enjoying right now, you might have already tested it out. But basically, what we're going to do is, firstly, we're going to get rid of the bug that you guys had. And secondly, we're going to make it so you can view all nine images that are generated. So, the way that we're going to do this is, first, we're going to get rid of this library. We don't need it. So, there it goes. Instead, we're going to replace it with import AIO HTTP. And so, what we're going to do is we're just gonna get rid of a bunch of this so literally from here to here just get rid of it gone so now over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something like async with aio http dot request and by the way um this is a, the code that i'm about to show you guys is not my code it was actually found by dwaa and so like i guess he found the back end tool which i was searching for like an hour and then he created this so i'm just saying it's not from me it's from him right i'm i asked he said i could use it for the video so there we go and this will make it so that it won't crash your bot every time you run the command until the command is over so like for a minute all right so now that we have that and the reason that actually happened by the way was just because it was not asynchronous the library was not asynchronous so now we're going to use aio http which is asynchronous and we're just going to make a call to the api directly anyways we're going to do json and then uh prompt is prompt right here and then as response and over here or as a resp and it's just going to be r equals await response or resp dot json so it's going to replace it's going to return us a bit of json then what we can do is we can do images equals r and images this is supposed to be one quotation mark so i'm just gonna there we go and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do oh, we're actually gonna grab the image right so like here what we want to do is we want to indent this and get rid of this right so now that we have image equals bytes instead of the i over here we want to replace this as images and then zero because in reality all this is is an array Okay, so now that we have that, this is pretty much it for this one, right? We're going to add a view here, so we're going to really quickly add that, which is going to be view equals drop down view. And inside here, what it's going to do is it's going to be, we're going to pass in a couple of things. MSG images and CTX the author dot ID. Okay, so there we go. And I know it says drop down view isn't defined but that's what we're gonna do right now so over here we're gonna create a select menu right a drop downs menu is kind of the same thing but it's gonna be called class drop down that's gonna have next select by the way you will need next chord for this because well drop downs only work in next chord you can try finding out a way around it if you're using pi chord is uh disk snake or something like that but in this case you will need next chord or i think it, um discord.py also has the same syntax so many of them should still work but i'm not 100 percent sure on that so inside here we're going to pass in a couple of things so messages images and user and so what we're going to do is we're going to do something like self.message equals message self.images equals images self. you guessed it self.user equals user okay now what we can do is we can create an array called options and so inside options what we're gonna have are a bunch of options crazy it's gonna be next chord dot select option and we only need to do one of these it's gonna be called label and here you can put one right and then add the comma so we have that what we can do is we can add some more code that actually creates this i guess select right so we're gonna do super dot underscore underscore initialize sorry for these pop-ups by the way i'm gonna x them out and then what we're gonna do is we can 
put in over here something like placeholder right and for select an option we're not going to do that we're going to do choose the image you want to see and then we're going to have min underscore values which is one max underscore values which is also one and then options it's going to equal options there we go now we're going to create a callback for this right and that's the super simple part i mean you guys should be able to do it so what we want to do is async def callback and next word equals next word interaction and inside here we're going to first use an if statement so if not in user equals equals interaction or in interaction dot user dot ie i know these ints are not needed here but i'm just going to keep it just in case i know it shouldn't happen anyways but then again you can remove it if you want them and for let's say they're not the user that sent the message or sent the command then what we can do is you're not the author of this message something like that Sim simple as that sorry about and now that what we can do is we can do something like selection equals and make sure this is an int right because this is a string right now we want it to be an int so we can do selection dot self dot values zero and then we all do minus one make sure you have this okay like make sure you have this okay actually um no we have to remove that and then what we can do is we can put minus one on the outside yep put a fast one on you there we go and then what we'll do is we can do image equals and guess what guys we can just copy it right from here literally as easy as that and literally yeah we can copy the entire thing and you'll see why so if i just copy this entire thing and for those of you that are trying to put it in as an embed right i already tried that but because it's a file it will not work and so for this instead of images we're just going to do self.images and then pass in here selection there we go right self.images right here and then lastly over here we're just this is going to be changed to self like it's just going to be a bunch of self dot stuff so here i'll show you um think it's self dot messages or message yeah it's message and then self dot images and then for this we can do self dot user <coughs> okay finally this is done now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create one more class and this is gonna be the last class before we can tie everything together right and this is finally gonna be the drop down view now the reason that we have this drop down view is because you can't call or yeah you can't call a select menu from a view you have to call a view or a select menu from the view right i'm oh, sorry you can't call you know it's a whole thing to explain and so we're just going to create it basically the difference between these two is that it uses a buttons views are basically buttons it uses buttons to call it even though there is no actual button it's adding it as an item right that's the main difference and it lets us do that we can't just put it in raw or else it won't work but over here we're just going to do self.message again self.images self.user and we're just going to literally copy this put it right under here just slide it in and there you go that's literally it so we're going to hop into discord and we're going to test it out so here i am in my future studio code and basically you can see that drone is online i guess right and that we have a decent amount of members so please join we also have a nitro event going on at the moment where you can win nitro so very exciting but if we do generate and let's put in cyberpunk city i don't know right and now it's going to generate and while it generates i'm going to tell you that stuff that this generates that the ai will generate can be very weird right they can be like cursed right like it will have deformed body parts so i'm just saying things that's why i'm doing cyberpunk city and not like a person because dolly mini dolly or crayon it's terrible with people so just i guess know that before you try to generate like a person eating a burrito or something just be wary of that because well ai can be very cursed at sometimes
Also, the reason it takes a full minute is because it's using Dolly's hardware or mini Dolly's and it's not the greatest. I mean, it has to handle a bunch of people at the same time. So it's very limited, right? But this should not um, put a lot of strain on your bot because it's just making a call to the API and the API is actually doing the... And there we go. So here you can see a cyberpunk-like city. It's a lot of neon blue, uh, hot pink, stuff like that, right? Teal. And if we go, we can change, right? And you can see, hey, here's another one okay and it will say this interaction failed because we don't actually respond with anything so if you want to respond with something then this will go away but over here we can go to like the next one three. Ooh, this one looks really nice it's like purple right you can go to like this nine and all of them right you can go through all of them and it's see if we go back to one hey it's this that we saw again and yeah there you go that's how you can add image generation part two into your discord bot if it worked for you and if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe down below and drop a comment. Let me know what you made. And until next time, let's stick out. See ya.